Oh, I'm live. Oh, first of all, welcome to the replay, everybody. Everybody that's coming to the replay, you're so welcome and you're so part of this. Really nice to have you with us. And hi, Stephanie. Hi, we've been having a little conversation today, haven't we? Sending love to you, Angie. Going to help people out. That's very good of you, Angie. Sending you love and you take care, Angie. Thank you for popping in and letting us know. Thank you so much. Oh, there's Christina. Hi. Hi, Christina. Oh, it's so nice to see you. And there's Candy. Oh, that's so lovely. Candy, we can't go a day without chatting to each other in all the various streams can we so lovely there's ben oh ben there's freddie look <laughs> i took him up to park hill this morning so he's nice and worn out <laughs> good morning deborah joy how are you happy monday to you i like mondays because <laughs> i like getting together with everybody it's really lovely oh Deborah, I do hope you have a good week this week as well and that you're able to do your painting. Obviously, it's early in the morning for you now, so <laughs> you're just coming too. <laughs> but we had a nice time over at Tina's, didn't we, yesterday, Deborah? Oh, and, and oh, Da, good morning, Da. So nice to see you. Love to you and your dear, dear Grace. Your dear Grace. Good morning. Here's Beth coming in the house. So nice to see you, Beth. Oh, Angie's sending. Angie's sending love to us all, but um, she's having to do a little bit of emergency gleaning for somebody. So we send off with our love, Angie, and we'll see you in various chats later on in the day in different streams. Here's Teresa coming in. Good morning. Good morning, Teresa. Watch this space. Teresa will be the next person to do some streaming. I'm sure. I had to have a lot of encouragement from our lovely Beth, but I did it, didn't I, Beth? <laughs> and I haven't regretted it. <laughs> Hello, Renee. Nice to see you. And Good morning, Cheryl. Oh, look at that. Oh, so lovely. It's really lovely. Just, just, we're starting the week off together, aren't we? I'm loving that. <laughs> oh, oh, Beth, I absolutely loved your stream on Saturday. If you weren't there or you haven't watched replay, nip over to Beth for, for the Saturday one. Oh, I don't want that colour. Because Beth was making paper at her desk, like a mini demonstration. And was it just me? But I found that so relaxing, the sound of the water dripping through the mesh. I loved it. Thank you. Oh, there's a bar. Good morning. Um, how are you, dear Barbara? Coming all the way from Canada, we've got America in the house and we've got Croydon in the house with Stephanie and Ben. Good morning, Jean. You're sneaking in to say you're here, but you can chat or read the chat because you are banned from your phone from the eye surgeon. <gasps> yes, Jean. If, yes, Jean, sending you our love. You, you're listening and that you're still just part of it. I sometimes use us. I definitely do and close my eyes, especially when I wasn't well. Jean, wishing you a speedy recovery from your eye surgery. And if you want to know more about that and to see Jean's latest video, hop on over to Jean's channel. That she, I was watching you gluing and chatting. 
Ah, oh, Teresa is going to help you out Tuesday, so stay tuned. Oh, yes, Teresa's got some videos up. If you would like to nip over to Teresa's channel and stay tuned. StreamYard may be being Oh, isn't that, isn't, isn't that something to look forward to? That's fantastic. Good news. Good morning, Tina. We had a lovely time over at Tina's stream yesterday. Well, it was early morning in America. But for me, it was midday. It was after Freddie's walk. We had a wonderful time, Tina. So lovely, so relaxing. Watching you sort and wind fabric around a homemade bobbin. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, it would be, it'd be fantastic to see you streaming, um, Teresa. How wonderful. <laughs> So, what am I making today? Candy, you didn't get a notification. Oh, it doesn't always work, does it? No. Well, I didn't get a notification. Guess Galen. Hi, Galen. Oh. I went with your time change, Galen. I did. I want to confuse everybody. I get a bit confused. <laughs> Oh, nice to see you, Galen. And Jeremy, good morning. Oh, come on in. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> lovely to see you all on this Monday morning. <laughs> oh. Um, so, what am I doing today? I made a cloth material ATC. Let me lift it up there. Can you actually focus on that? It's made from some of Sophia's lovely silk that I received. Put a little tab. I do like a little tab on things. I cut up the various silks and what do you, motifs, I, I think that might be a word. And cut up little bits and collage. It's sewing collage, slow stitching collage. Mm. Oh, Gail Ann says you've got morning chores to do yet. So you'll be in and out for a bit. Oh, yes, totally understand, Gail Ann. Yes, it's early in the morning. We have people in the background listening too while they're getting people, their families ready for work and school. And welcome to people that are gently listening in the background. We know that our Jean is gently listening in the background. Our Jean Bainey, sending you, you lots of love, Jean. And I'll read out the chat for you, Jean, so you can keep up to date with what everybody's saying. And there's our Japanese friend, Kamichiwa. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Aww. So... It's made of fabric, and this is blue silk, and I put some tiny little beads on there to make the stars. Oh, Cheryl, yes, you relax. You need to let your first coffee kick in, don't you? Oh, thank you, Barbara. <laughs> so I put a little word on. Of course, I've put the word joy on. It seems to be my word of the year doesn't it so far <laughs> but today i've done the, the um, fabric atcs before haven't i but i thought i'd just go that little bit further and make a little envelope out of cloth out of material in this case it's some of sophia's silk and here's one of the little embellishments motifs what do you call these my brain's gone funny <laughs> i'm joining you Cheryl. and i put some i put some beads on and sewed some little bits and pieces on and i also put like a little lining in it as well so my atc and of course i did have to put um that's the wood of the year is joy 
and I, I think my little bit, my little signature, if you like, is, is going to be putting hearts on everything. Oh, Gerald's saying good morning to our friend in Japan. Isn't that lovely? So it just goes in there like so, and I've got some beads there. So I've got a silk one that I made, but I've also got a cotton one as well. And the, that's got um, an ordinary ATC in it. Oh, Barbara says, if we haven't seen Roy's fabric doll, it's a must. Oh, yes. I'm hoping Roy comes in. Oh, Roy, so creative. Well, it started with Beth doing her, her dolls. And I thought, oh, I'll make one from fabric scraps. Roy won the drawing. It winged its way over to America. And Roy made one too. I so recommend Roy's video. Mildred, that's right, Jeremy. Thank you for reminding me. There's Erin. Good morning, Erin. Oh, before we continue with talking about Roy, let's talk about Erin was part of the hashtag time for art i loved your master board with the flowers and the and the shiny bit running through fantastic erin <laughs> loved it oh you started to watch roy and then yeah mary did an extra one yesterday well cheryl not only is mildred bart roy's fabric doll Roy's video making is a work of art as well. It, it really, yeah, it's beautifully edited. Come you to art. <laughs> um, so, yes, absolutely. That's the only Japanese I know. Sorry. I can, I'll, learn some, I'll learn one more thing for next week. I know Janice, who's getting ready for work in the background, knows some Japanese too. Hmm. Oh. So, yes, please do go back because not only will you see an amazing the edited video, you will see Roy's beautiful bits and pieces of fabric and bits and pieces, a beautiful design doll. And also Mildred has backstory. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> It's amazing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, I love I love Roy's videos too. I posted it on Beth so you can go straight to Roy's link if if you want to. I put it on Beth's page. Beth, did you hear me dear complimenting your amazingly relaxing um water? the trickling water on your stream. I like that, Deborah Joy, that you're writing in Japanese. How clever. Gosh. Google Translate, maybe. That's fantastic. I need to do some of that. <laughs> oh. So, where was I? I think, oh, there's Vanessa. Good morning, Vanessa. We'll keep you company while you tidy and sort, Vanessa. Oh, the place I want to visit the most is in, in England is the Cotswolds. Oh, yes, the Cotswolds are absolutely beautiful. Do look that up in the chat, everybody. The Cotswolds, go on a virtual tour. It's, 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 it's part of English heritage, the whole area. And it's all made from the same stone, Cotswold stone. Absolutely beautiful. I hope you get there. I hope you get there, our dear Japanese friend. Hmm. He was learning some English to put in there. That's amazing. You couldn't hear the water on Breath Stream. You had it on your TV. Oh, it was on my phone and just the... I'm quite sensitive to sound and just the trick of the water when Beth was putting the mesh, it was dripping through the mesh when she's making paper. It was wonderful for me. <laughs> oh, good morning, dear Gail. Come on. 
on in, come on in, just in time, resting and recovering. And I do hope that you're getting better and better as the weeks go on, Kendra. So nice to see you. <laughs> oh, so I decided to do, I'm just showing what I've been making this week, made out of snippets and little oddments of fabric a tiny piece together envelope and when I put the fabric on I put some lace on as well and it's got a little piece of cotton here and this says please affix stamp here on there it's got my signature heart on the back and then you open it up and it's got a lining and there's a heart there and it's just ready to pop in this is the cardboard one but just ready to pop in one of my ATCs but let me show you how I made the fabric envelope <laughs> oh. thank you Jeremy thank you so I measured in inches I think that might be easier. I do inches. So I measured to make it the size for ATCs. If you're just getting up, don't worry. You can ask me the measurements later because I know if you're in America, you're just waking up and someone starts to talk maths. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, it'll just be all gentle sewing in a minute. So. Oh, I'm just making a paper pattern, by the way. Oh, doesn't he? Doesn't he, Barbara? Oh, and Jen is saying good afternoon to Freddie, too. <laughs> Don't let me miss anyone coming in. Don't let me miss dear Janice, who may pop into the chat while she's getting to ready for work. No stress to do that, though, Janice. Not at all. Because... You must be struggling from losing an hour, Chalice. <laughs> oh, Freddie and Jughead. Oh, yes. They're great friends, Freddie and Jughead. <laughs> oh, they've been exchanged happy now, Freddie and Jughead, you know. <laughs> oh. A little bit of ripping there. So I've got a five and a half by five and a half inch template. And that's, that will just help me cut my fabric. Let me show you how I make, make my envelopes. I don't use the envelope maker. A, because I haven't got one, and B, because um, it's probably, oh, it seems a bit complicated to me. I don't want to get used to it. It's fine. I just fold it over like that. And then fold it up like that. Tuck this little end down. And then like this. There we are. So if you're making a mental note, Jean, in the background, a five and a half inch square will fit in an ATC. So don't fold it. Make sure, yeah, let's make sure we don't fold it to. Just checking that. That is wonderful. Good. So then you get your fabric and draw around. I know, Deborah, that is fun. I'm looking forward to Tuesday too. Um, guests. There will be guests. That's fantastic. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> oh, so I've got some material I cut out earlier. There we are. So I cut out using this as a template, a pattern. There we are. I cut that out. So I'm not going to waste my pattern because I'm going to use these paper envelopes. There we are. Beth's excited. Woo -woo. <laughs> so I just got very plain 
wooden fabric. On this one, because all I'm doing on this one is getting little bits and pieces from my bits and pieces of fabric. My little owl, <laughs> my little owl bag, and simply sewing, sewing the bits on. So to get it lined, I sewed some in, in there too, not all the way down, but just that. And then I turned and put some on the other side. So it's just, okay, you can do this on the machine if you want to. And I use various colours as well. I'm going to use the bits that I've got got I've got threaded here I thread my needles ahead of time <laughs> to save me fumbling around oh now while we're here I would like to send our love because you might be in the background Carol Carol is whispering cauldron or you might be on the replay sending you our love because I understand you haven't been well. So, Carol, we are sending you our love. Also, I've noticed that um, I haven't seen Nashua in last week. And when I don't see people, it, I think, oh, so I have emailed Nashua. And we, Nashua, we're sending you our love because I know that you've been resting and healing too. And um, if you're not listening, if you're not reading the chat, Carol, um, Carol with Spring Cauldron, Candy's sending her love to you, to you and the family. Yes. And da too, yes. Feel better soon. And hope that you feel well enough to do some of your lovely sewing. Talking about lovely sewing. Oh, Nashua was ill, but she's getting better. You saw her yesterday. Thank you so much. Yes. We must be. In, yes, yes. I wasn't. In the chats as much yesterday. You're right, Candy. <laughs> well done. Thank you for sharing that. Um, Carol with Spring Cauldron. Um, Barbara sending her love to you too. There's Melissa. Melissa, hi. Come in. Come in. I'm doing some slow stitching, Melissa. <laughs> I'm making fabric envelopes today. Welcome. And what are your plans this week, Melissa? Are you going to be doing some, some work in your glue book, in your lovely composition notebook? I had a little knot there. <laughs> oh. The other person that I would like to send our love to our lovely Sanna came into Beth's the other day, and that was lovely. I'm just, just to say that was just so nice to see Sanna. Never any pressure to enter the chats, though, Sanna, and no pressure for you to make videos. I know you've been doing some art, but don't don't feel pressured to make the videos. But we will enjoy them when you do. But absolutely no pressure beth says like you need another project you've started a new slow stitch repair on your old favorite grandmother's quilt every night you sew and patch for a few minutes before bed it will take a long time oh beth that is so lovely and you've got that connection with your with your with your past as well. That is so precious. I I saw that you mentioned that um, 
on your stream. That is so lovely. You'll be surprised how that grows because you know the crochet blanket that I made with all the colours? I just used to do that for a few minutes every day while I was in bed. And obviously when I was um, in Beth's stream, uh, just relaxed and amazing how it grows. So relaxing to have projects, one in bed, one on your desk. I've got one on one on the settee, the little crochet project. I've got a jigsaw and a novel on the kitchen table. Little zones of relaxation that I can go to. If you have the space, that is, um, to do that. Good morning, Anne. Oh, Anne, I absolutely loved your stream at the Streamathon. Hashtag time for art. I loved your Timmy masterboard. And I also loved your stories and, and how you use Google Draw to make your own Timmy pictures from your family. We're going to have to learn to from your family photos. We're going to have to learn to do that. Beth, I'm sure you have um, some family photos. To, to Yeah, that you'd like to do that with. I certainly have. Anne said she's going to maybe do a little tutorial on... YouTube for us. No pressure though, Anne. No pressure. <laughs> you want your crafting to be fun. Anne was a lifesaver, Erin. She came in and did, did an hour. Yes, and I loved everything you showed us. Yes. <laughs> I love your streams. So if you if you haven't watched that. Um, there are links in Beth's group. There's links in my hot video. Hop on over to Erin's um, hot video and Anne's hot video. And Beth, you did a hot video with your wonderful painty papers. You've been doing um, both Anne and Beth have been doing doing them for a while. Here comes Peggy. Oh, Peggy, loving your Instagram account. It was yesterday or this morning. I only saw it this morning. And um, you've got like a chicken trough, a vintage chicken trough, all cleaned up. And you've got a display of St. Patrick's Day postcards and bits and pieces absolutely wonderful so do a nip over to uh, Peggy's Instagram if you haven't got Instagram just let me know and I can always like, email you a screenshot or something don't feel you're missing out <laughs> mm. yes I know Erin, you one learns something new every day, and I thought, oh wow, I can do that. I could try that. <laughs> this is some of the fabric that you gave me, Beth, in my happy mail. It's very similar to the fabric Roy used in the background of his slow stitch doll, and he put yellow beads in the back. I'm just making this inner inner bit here, the lining. So I need to make it down to about here, slow stitch on. So, but what I'm gonna do, so we don't run out of time, is turn it over, and because it's slow stitching, there's no right or wrong. You can stitch right through, and it doesn't seem to matter. Because if there's lots of these stitches on on there, it doesn't seem to matter. 
because I popped a heart over the top. So, yeah, I'm just going to get another piece of fabric. We're always making little piles of things to use up, aren't we? I was doing the slow, when I was doing this slow stitching, I was doing it on the SETI and I had YouTube on the television. Freddie was sat by my side and Sam, my stitch kit, goodness me, everywhere. <laughs> oh, oh, Cheryl, is that, um, is that, Beth's Facebook group, that's handy. Oh, I could put a link. I don't know how easy it is to Peggy's Instagram in Beth's group. Beth, you dear, you don't seem to mind. Th thank you. Thank you. You've got a lovely active group there, haven't you? <laughs> oh, lots of things to share. Oh, while we are sharing. Somebody that comes into Beth's group, and her name is Hot Threads, her channel name, and her real name is Deanie. I have posted in Beth's group, she did a video, and it was weaving. Now I thought, oh, I left my loom at, at work and didn't go back for it when I was ill. And it's it's gone now, fine, not a problem. But it was a small children's loom, it was lovely. If you haven't got a loom, don't worry. And you want to do some weaving with wool or fabric pieces, hop over to Hot Threads, the link is in Beth's group. I posted the video because she is doing weaving using an embroidery hoop. Oh, happy days. Absolutely wonderful. So I'm so glad that um, Deanie found, found Beth. Because I went and I followed her, I followed her, and then it, she came up with a notification. So I was, I was very pleased to find that. Oh, I also, Deanie has been watching replays and commenting on my videos. So I, I may have followed the link from there. There's Joycey. Hi. Hi, Joyce. How are you? Nice to see you. Just, just in time. We're just... We're starting, we're starting the week off in a very gentle, gentle way. <laughs> we're slow stitching. And just to just to say I all I did was sew a hot in. And then I popped my hand in and put a little stitch here and a little stitch there. And a little stitch here and there just to make it into a fabric envelope so it's not it's not hard it's just a case of slow stitching lots of shapes um little scraps onto a five and a half square by a five and a half square who's freddie seen outside <laughs> joycey is it you live you don't live in eastern standard time do you live over on the west the west coast i know it's different timings there it's peggy you weaved with a loom and shuttle once years ago very time consuming but satisfying yes this was some the one i had peggy would have been vintage it was by this toy company called Galt, and it was a wooden, and I used to use it with the children, the boys, and then obviously at various places I used to go to work, I used to take it with me because it, 
even if people just wind it in and out of the wrong way, if they're happy weaving, they, and they did enjoy it. So I'm, I'm going to do some weaving following Dini from Hot Threads video. Oh, you can use corrugate. Oh, yes. Do you know, I think I remember the boys doing that at school, um, Joyce. Gosh, thank you for reminding me about that. Number four, but we just need a little reminder. And you can use fabric strips as well. And on the video, Deanie showed us how to join join these bits together. She called something, and I can't quite remember what she called it now. It was a special knot. West Coast. West Coast for, ah, so you are a, a difficult time. Well, Joycey, thank you for joining us, despite the fact it's early for you. I'm down in your craft room yet. Oh, look, a few little bits of that Timmy fabric left from my slow stitch kit. Popping that on. I haven't got much more of this. I'm going to use this green now. Look at this lovely peacock colour. <laughs> oh. The other person we want to send our love to. Oh, there's Ali. Alison, hi. Oh, you missed the beginning. Well, it, it's an hour earlier, isn't it? I know. Easy, easy to do. Easy to do. Don't worry. Don't worry. You haven't missed much, um, Alison. I'm just making an a, a, a fabric. ATC envelope, a little envelope. So five and a half inches by five and a half. <laughs> There's Sue's, good morning. Yes, people coming in, uh, that's so lovely. How nice to see you. Lovely to see you, Sue's. I do hope, it's, it's early in the morning yet to tell, but I do hope that this is gonna be one of your good days. And we're here to keep you company, keeping each other company. I love that. There we are. Just gently sewing. Freddie in the background, looking out of the window. <laughs> yeah, I liked your master board you made. And it was very colourful, colourful bits. And you knocked it back with gesso. Really nice. You've been you've been slow stitching. You're doing the Anne Brooks tags, aren't you? And Kimberly, where's our lovely Kimberly and Beef today? Kimberly, if you're in the background, hi. No pressure to pop into the chat. <laughs> you might still be at the shops. <laughs> oh. It is a bright day. It is a bright day. Yeah, nice and bright and sunny. <laughs> I have a light on though, so if it's a little bit overexposed, I can turn the light out. <laughs> I've also got some lovely little daffs here. I do like spring flowers. I find them very hopeful. <laughs> um... Measure and snip to the top and bottom marks and place the weft or warp. You've forgotten which way. Yeah, we could look that up, Joyce, how to make the loom with corrugated paper. And that, that's a great way to use up our bits and pieces of fabric and yarn. Tina, you had some wonderful pieces of yarn and fabric yesterday maybe it would be nice in in weaving or maybe people are saying we don't need another project at the moment it's just something to make a note of isn't it a very 
old skill. It is, Alison. I was getting all confused. Oh, Suze has blooming daffodils all over her yard. Oh, I know. I love that. I love to see the spring flowers. It's very hopeful when that happens, isn't it? It's 6.39 for Joyce. Gosh, I do appreciate you being with us. And yes, gosh, we are here keeping you company. Just so, so this is the bit there. It's going to come up like this and like this and fold it over, get in frame like that. So it's got a little lining in there. <laughs> oh. And then it's just a case of just gently sewing, really. And I'm loving that. And don't forget, um, it's Lizzie tonight. If I do forget at the end, do do um 9.40 on the East Coast, do remind me to tell you Lizzie later remind the chat because we'll all be off to Lizzie's this evening Vanessa's about to start recording videos it's going to be a very very busy day and you have lots to get done today so Vanessa thank you for starting your day with us and I do hope all the videos go well and I look forward to to watching them Thank you. Thank you for all the time you put in into those. And good luck, continued good luck with all the tidying and sorting. There we are. Oh, I interrupted myself. I was going to say the other person that we're thinking about is our lovely Joyce Boring. Uh, if you are in the background or watching the replay, Joyce, we're sending you our love and absolutely no pressure to nip into the chat. But if you do, we will just gently say hi and that we've been missing you, but we understand that you are taking time for yourself and recovering. And we we're sending you our love, Joyce. And I do remember how much support you gave me when, when I first started streaming, which would be in the summer. Gosh, that's quite a long time ago. I had a lot of support from Beth too. Obviously, I had a lot of support from Ben. <laughs> me on the phone, I was on the phone to Beth saying, I just can't get the sound to work get it to work could I but I can now there's Mrs Gigi welcome welcome and Aunt Bex good morning welcome Aunt Bex so nice to see you I'm doing some gentle slow stitching we're starting the week off very gently and I wonder what our lovely Aunt Bex has got planned for us this week I wonder what projects you have up your sleeve. But no pressure, Bex. We're just happy to be with you <laughs> when stream. I'm making fabric envelopes for ATCs um, on Bex and Mrs. Gigi because you've just come in. <laughs> You're adjusting. Oh, yes, because you have to get up so early anyway. Um, are your two men on lates or earlies um, now, Aunt Bex? Joyce was one of your pe pen pals before YouTube. Oh, that is incredible. Oh, so you've known Joyce a long time. Gosh, wow. That's amazing. 
A lot will depend when the man, men can come to cut two trees down this week. Yeah, no pressure. Absolutely no pressure. As Mary said with our when we stream for the art hop, we want it to be fun. We don't want we don't want to people to feel pressured to stream or make videos and yeah, and I think that will come across if we're relaxed and it gives a nice vibe. <laughs> so absolutely no pressure on Bex. And no pressure to come up with new ideas either. <laughs> I'm still enjoying making making the tote bags. It's so nice to see you. Oh, so nice. Val, how lovely. Quite often you watch the replay and here you are today live how nice to see you <laughs> oh really nice you'll be back in just a few got to make breakfast for scott oh yes yes you're in and out and just yes he has such a busy job they're on their feet so i presume he's doing earlies if i i ask a question and then miss the answer mm. Yes, just very, very gentle, slow stitching, just to start us off, start off our week. Oh, talking about slow stitching. Gail Ann, dear, if you're in the background, Gail Ann's doing her chores. But if you get a chance to go into Scrapping Lizzie's Facebook group, do look up. Gail Ann's slow stitching because lovely Lizzie last week was doing writing, slow stitch writing. Well, maybe I could do that. Maybe I could write in stitches joy instead of stamping it. I might do that. Gail Ann, you're there. Oh, your stitching was beautiful. No, um, mine's going to you embroiderer aren't you i'm a slow stitcher so mine will be different sizes and but your your hand stitch writing was beautiful and then you went round it in rainbow colors absolutely loved it girl um, beautiful if you get the chance yes oh yes you know don't worry we know that you're trying to get some chores done starting your monday off <laughs> Oh, by keeping the house all neat. Just take that pin out of there. Oh, yes. This is lovely, actually. When I'm doing this, it's, it's lovely because I, I actually feel, that's why I have the camera on me, because I actually feel like we're together and we're having a chat. It's really nice. And I can just do this. Yeah. Your Easter lily has bloomed. Oh, and you posted a picture on Instagram. Oh, I have to go and have a look at that. Oh, how lovely. Is another name for an Easter lily a Jersey lily? I will, I'm going to have a look later. How oh, beautiful. I love it when things start to, to bloom. So, so hopeful. Jean, I've got a, a pot with two little miniature tater tate daffodils on my desk. <laughs> oh. Have, oh, Ali, have I missed saying hi to another Alison? If I've missed you, Alison, I've, Ali, I've said hi to, but if I've missed you, Alison, oh, please don't let me miss you. I must have, Alison Davis, thank you. Oh, so nice of you to come. Yes, I'm glad you, I'm glad you typed in there again, because later on, when I do the replay, I think, oh, I missed that person. Hi, Alison, welcome, welcome. There's our Mary Lou. 
Mary Lou, you won't be chatting much, will you? Because you'll be crocheting away. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. <laughs> you, Mary Lou's making this king size crochet um, duvet cover, um, bedspread, quilt. <laughs> it's beautiful. And yeah, it seems to be growing by the day. <laughs> it's lovely. Really lovely. And you post pictures on Instagram, don't you? You're enjoying watching Freddie in the background. Oh, I know. That's another reason why I have the camera here. I know. It's it's relaxing, isn't it? You can't touch and feel him because he is a therapy dog. But he does go into hospital and as a therapy dog when it's not COVID. But I feel he's still... He's still working, isn't he? Because it's such a therapy to watch him and because he's he's nice and chill, isn't he? <laughs> You're so close to being done. Oh, fantastic. My star quilt is really growing by the day, um, Mary Lou. The stars are so quick to um so quick to crochet up. It did he, did he, Gerald? When I said his name, he looked up. Oh, he is sweet, isn't he sweet, Gerald? Yeah, and it was Gerald who got him into this. He has to have a snack when we have our snack, and rightly so, rightly so. What a bad mother I am! <laughs> so bad. Oh, it took Gerald to tell me about that. See, so just save all your little snippets and. Bits and bobs. Oh, listen, he's asking. Oh, do you think it's snack time, do you? Oh, okay. It's probably because I said his name. Oh, Peggy says the birds are actively looking for nests. Oh, that is fantastic, isn't it? And you feed the birds because I've seen pictures of all your bird feeders at Christmas. Yeah, oh, lovely, Peggy. We've I've got little mealy worms out for the birds and I have this little, it's a circle, it's a cage so the squirrels can't get in. Oh, Ali, you've got a robin. Oh. Most gardens have their own little robin, don't they? They're quite territorial, aren't they? Oh, that's so lovely. Oh, in an old greenhouse. Oh, how lovely. That is, oh, spring is on the way. You see an owl. It's my, my, my little snippet bag. It's lovely, isn't it? And this was from Sophia. <laughs> the bag was from... From Melljoy. <laughs> oh, you love owls. I love owls too, Mrs. Gigi. <laughs> oh, wise owls. <laughs> so, yes, okay. I'm going to take notice of my lovely little Freddy here yawning. Oh, you can't see him. He sat up and yawned. He's getting ready. Yes, come on. Stop it, mummy. It's snack time. Okay. Because Everybody else wants to have a snack time too. So anyway, here are my fabric, stitch fabric envelopes. <laughs> and I will post a picture so you can get a closer look at them. And I shall continue to just gently sew while I listen to some of your lovely videos and lives and streams this week. There's going to make another one. So let's pop that to one side, ready for later, and let's start snack time. There we are. Freddy's, Freddy's the boss. Freddy's the boss of us, aren't you, Freddy? <laughs> Mary Lou, you don't know if I mentioned this, but you've been trying to use up some scrap yarn, and a friend of mine cleaned her mum's closet out and found over 30 skeins of yarn and gave them to me. Mary Lou, you know, you did mention that, and 
what if you see what Mary Lou does on on her Instagram, I will. If you're not on Instagram, I'll email you a picture. She puts two pieces of her so colourful her crochet. But what she does is she puts gets two balls of one dark, one light, and two balls of wool, and then she crochets them together to make a variegated pattern. Am I describing that well, Mary Lou? So you have a bag of dark balls of wool and a bag of light colours, and and then you pick two, and then it, it, it makes a lovely variegated um, pattern or scranny square. I thought that's a fantastic idea. So there's there's plenty scope for more crocheting for our Mary Lou. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get out um let's get these out, shall we? Let's get oh look a bit used. See I must be you. I can't get the camera high enough for you to see him sat up. <laughs> oh, what's he like? This flask in the 80s, it's glass inside, but it hasn't broken. The orange one did. We took it to the park yesterday and had a nice cup of tea. We were very British, had tea and cake in the park, and it was very cold <laughs> and it was very damp. <laughs> we had to stand up. <laughs> oh, dear. So I made a yesterday when we went to the park and um, we sat and had our carrot cake. I It went very quickly. Everybody was helping themselves. Mary Lou says, yes, that's right, the light and the dark together. Freddie is ready. Look at him stretching out now. Oh, he's coming around this side. See if I can get him to come around this side. Come on, darling. Come where people can see you. Why can people see you? Look, people can see you. Cherry, he's having his treat. Look at him licking his lips there. Do you want to sit down? Do you want to give me a pull? Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> there you go. There. Where are you going to go and eat that, darling? Oh, he's got, he doesn't trust us. There you go. He doesn't trust us. He's wagging his tail and he's going off to the lounge to eat that. <laughs> Can you believe that? He doesn't trust us. <laughs> oh. Oh, Erin says you'd like to make some crochet flowers with the button centres. Did Roy, did Roy have a tutorial on doing button flowers? He might have done. That, I think that's where I learned to do mine. Have a look on Roy's channel. <laughs> I know, Alison. <laughs> he wanted the cake. He, that was a lovely treat, though, that he had for his birthday from a lovely Nikki. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Hmm. They do. They do sneak off, don't they? Because that's very high value. If it was those little fish, he stayed here. But I think that's very high value, that treat for him. So I made a carrot cake and it went so quickly. It was Sam and I in the house and then Ben had a slice as well. But the reason I would covered it up and brought it in here, because I thought if I leave it in the tin, when I go... This morning, to get some out, ready for snack time, it'll be all gone. Yes, Mary Lou, it was Roy who did the um, slow stitch, um, crochet flower. Yes, yeah. Hmm. I've got my Janet UK mug. Hi to Janet um, USA if you're in the background. <laughs> so this is carrot cake. Mm, let me just taste a little bit while you're here. Mm, mm. Oh, that is lovely. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. Mm. Oh, Alison, what a coincidence. You actually watched the crochet flower video this morning. Oh, that is that is really funny. You're it's sniffing, you want some more of those. <laughs> oh dear, you can't have any more ready. I'll spoil your dinner. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Um, it's carrot cake, so it's just my normal sponge recipe, my Delia Smith one. Come and sit up here, darling. That's that. And all I do is add mixed spice, raisins, and grated carrot. So it's just my normal sponge cake recipe um, that I can give you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna eat the rest of that later. <laughs> oh, Freddie, it's all gone now, darling. All gone. All gone. You come and sit up, darling. You come and sit up there, darling. It's all gone. It's all gone now. Got your cushion. There you go. There. <laughs> oh, I know it's not all gone, are you to me? <laughs> it's not all gone. I know. That's all you're having. <laughs> ah. He is Galan, isn't he? Oh. <laughs> he is a sweetie. How are your two this morning, Anne? Um, Galan, how are your two little pups? <laughs> it's Elden, isn't it? But I've forgotten the, your other ones. Cheryl wants to say pat pat. <laughs> Look, this is from Cheryl. He says, Oh, I'd rather have a treat from Cheryl. No, Cheryl's stroking you, darling. <laughs> oh, we love him, don't you? I know. Oh, Peggy, if you weren't here, but I think probably chewing and talking online probably isn't the best idea, is it? So I thought I'd better be a little bit disciplined. Right, so what am I going to do? We are going to do a pick 10, no, pick 7. We're going to do a prompt game, but we are going to make, if we want to, I am going to make, you might want to just listen, do it later, not do it. You might want to do make ATCs with the prompts or tags or a journal page. It's your choice. But I thought I might make another master board. So... I've got some I've got some copies from my master board from the next it's time for art. I haven't got the cardboard one anymore because my master board is now in digital form, PDF form. So there is a PDF of this if you would like to use it as scrap paper. It's make your own paper for crafting isn't it really um where is it what have i done with it um let, let me have a look yeah i've been using it to make little pockets to put atcs in using it in the background i'll probably make some envelopes and Anne Lair was saying she made envelopes from, from her. So the master copy is like the old fashioned when we used to do typing, when you have the master copy and then you the um, carbon behind it. And those are all copies, aren't they? There we are. Oh, we missed you too, Nashua. And we were talking about you earlier, wishing you well. Yes, missing you and wishing you well. And Candy said she saw you in a stream yesterday. So, yes, so nice of you to join us. And Brittany, oh, hi. Hmm. Hi, Brittany. So nice to see you. So, yeah, I did share the PDF in my Time for Art video, but it didn't work. But the PDF link is in the Fibstore group. And if you want me to email you the PDF for this, for my Let's Time 
let's time for art. Um, I can do that. No problem. It's just for us to share. So I thought I would make another master board today. Oh, before I do that, let me just show you. This is a copy. It's completely flat. It's paper. Looks like a collage, doesn't it? But this was from Carol Young, who comes into the chat. And this was one of a copy from a master board that she made. And she, she sent a box of things for Mel Joy and myself. And she covered it with one of her homemade papers. Oh, this word's stuck on, but the other one's part of the actual. So I love that. So when we have a master board or a digital copy of our work, we can copy it off as many times as we like. So let me move my tea because I'm going to make a mess. What size do I want my master to be? Let's get some card or paper. Of course, I wasn't organised. Let me just... I'm looking for something. There we are. I'll just get this magazine. We'll use that as a background. And don't, if you are making a master board, don't worry if it comes out too bright and shiny because basically you're going to be using it as a background. Well, that is A4, good. Um, so we could knock it back with some white gesso. So I'll just... So you could use mixed media paper if you want to. There we are. So we'll get some prompts going, shall we? And do join in if you want to. And today I'll try and be a little more organised and write them down and not get in such a muddle. <laughs> but don't worry, you, you don't mind when I get in the muddle. I'll just cover this writing up. Janet, is my battery okay? I've got it. Yes, thank you. I've got it plugged in um, so it won't run out. Thank you, Beth. Is there anything wrong with um, the video that you say that? Or were you reminding me to keep my laptop plugged in? Thank you for reminding me. Hmm. Oh, Nashua, we're always happy to see you. And obviously, it's not going to like that white, is it? So let's put some things on there. So I'm going to get out. I put the props in a little mini Fortnum and Mason's hamper. Who was it who said this? I think it was Joyce. Who when? No, Vanessa. Vanessa Rose. She's not here now, is she? Was when you? I had a lovely prompt session with Vanessa Rose on Wednesday, didn't you, with Mrs. Gigi? And Vanessa Rose said, put them in a basket and shuffle them up, the cards. Basket or a bin. There's Joyce. You're getting your hubby off to work. Oh, I'm not surprised. There's Vanessa. You're here. That was your idea, wasn't it, Vanessa? To put the prompts in a basket. You were advising Mrs. Um, Gigi. And I thought, oh, such a good idea. <laughs> Thank you, husbands. Oh, husbands are a lot of work. Oh, they're worth it, though, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, oh, Irene. Oh, so lovely, so lovely to see you. 
I was missing you. And and who you may have been in the background. I'm going to stop shuffling those papers. And I'm just going to say, uh, Irene, who is um, Eve in, in chat here, Eva, you've been on my mind and on my heart and I over the last week and you will continue to be. And I'm, I'm so glad you can be here and let us... Let us, you're sitting here and slow stitching. What a wonderful, wonderful. There's some of your slow stitching. I can just imagine you doing that. Very healing thing to do. So, yeah, I'm glad, you, I'm glad you're here with us now. Um, all of our thoughts, you don't, you don't have to know sometimes what's affecting people but we can just you know keep you in our hearts oh deborah i'm sure you're not <laughs> so i'm going to pick out seven random from this basket i've shuffled them up two and i'll try not to get in a muddle this week three some are smaller than others and they're three Four, five, I'm not looking, <laughs> six, seven. So today, then our bets, if you've just come back, it's you don't have to do the prompt game like this. Oh, let me just pick out a few. I'm making a master board, a prompt, a prompt game. I'm making a master board today. But you can use the prompts in any way or not. Mm. So there we are. First prompt. It says, oh, add a dangle. Oh, that's interesting. Well, we can, can add a dangle to a Prompt. Well, no, I'm going to pick another one. Oh, look, cheating already. Cheating already. Add words. Oh, no, that is really interesting. Now, this is a master board. So this is, oh, that's interesting. If you're not doing a master board and you want to add dangles, you add dangles. But I'm going to make the first prompt add words add words is number one there you go add words so obviously if you're doing play tc do your own thing but i'm actually just going to do some writing i'm right underneath this we've sort of done this before haven't we where um where we you could actually add your feelings on on here couldn't you because it's going to get covered up if you've got some if you've got some negative feelings you could you could add add those words as well you're slow stitching and I mean slow stitching and she is eating cookies and coffee lovely you're in the zone <laughs> oh that's lovely I'm loving that oh I'm just going to draw a heart it was add words though what other words can I add here what am I thinking oh I'm just going to I'm just going to put Monday there Monday peace joy and love and i've written thinking of you and i'm going to put friends you might if you're doing atcs you might want to hold off and not do a background of words you might friends yes vanessa great minds think alike i put friends down yeah that's what it that's what it's all about Mmm, Candy had peanut butter cookies yesterday. Oh, I bet they're gorgeous. Mmm, 
Oh, family. Thank you. Family. Mm. So I'm doing my words and they're going to be knocked back. They, this is just going to be not seen, but just vaguely seen. Pets. Oh, I love that. Pets. Oh, that's what this stream's all about. Oh, I'm going to write. Actually, do you know what else I'm going to write? Cookies. <laughs> All things that this is about, <laughs> this stream is about family and friends and thinking of you and joy and pets and oh, lovely art. Thank you, Nashua. <laughs> oh, isn't that funny? And together, it's interesting. Create, inspire, hope. Oh, lovely. Create, inspire. Um, these are just, I think Laurie and Marie would call this noise in the background. Or oh, put Freddie down. Oh, I'm loving this. I'd almost want a copy of this because I want to use some of these words. I want a picture because, oh, has Roy come in the house? Oh, Roy's in the house. Roy's in the house. <laughs> oh, we, we got ears burning, Roy taking a picture of that because these are going to disappear and yes <laughs> oh Roy we have been waxing lyrical about your lovely Mildred gorgeous. I love the design of her the way the heart was her legs and her body and then you accentuated when you added the black lines little chest and then on the bottom of her little trousers that it really gave it shape fantastic and her little backstory oh Vanessa's working on a journal called friends across the miles on your channel oh how lovely oh how lovely I will come over and see that thank you Oh, well, Roy, yes, thank you. And we're saying it was our lovely Beth who started this all off with her magnificent paper dolls. And I had loads of snippets of fabric. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're searching for her siblings. Oh, OK. Did they not follow her to Florida? There's more backstory here, I'm sure. Oh, wow. You've started something. I know she's retired to... Florida, but do you think her siblings are in Phibsville? Might be. Roy, uh, Cheryl's cutting back on sugar. Yeah, we all need to cut back on sugar. I know it's not good for us, is it? It's only just a little treat when we get together, though, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> so, Roy, and the other thing I was saying, if your ears were burning, Roy, but your video making is a form of art as well. Absolutely love the way you make your videos. Oh, Vanessa says she hasn't started that yet. Um, and you're going to put an announcement about that on your channel. You'd like to have pieces from people all over the world to put in the journal. Well, Vanessa, I would love to be part of that. That sounds a fantastic idea. I shall look out for your for your video announcement. Mm. Gail Ann agrees about the quality of your videos. That's wonderful. It, it, yeah, definitely. Video is, is a form of art. Roy, we're doing a prompt. I've done some slow stitching, Roy, already. Um, we are... I'm making a masterboard. Some people might be making ATCs. Um, we ha I saw some lovely pictures that people posted. Um, last week, Nettie did some ATCs and Beth and Aunt Bex did ATCs and, and Kimberly with beef, she did some tags. So it was wonderful. Melissa, you, you're going to do a masterboard, are you? That's fantastic. 
Oh, you've got lots of pictures to put on a master board. What could be with all your horse pictures? Now, as luck would have it, we've got add paint for the next prompt. So that's a good one. Add paint. Mm. Add paint. How lovely. Right. I see I'm organized this week. I'm writing it down. What colour? Now, bearing in mind, mine is going to be sorry to cover all these lovely words up, but some may show through. I've got that yellow again. I'm feeling very spring like. I've got seven prompts, but we might get time to do more. We'll just see how it goes. Oh, yes, the words. Oh, the words are showing through. I'm loving that. Your husband, John, made a gorgeous master board and cut it up into ATCs. Oh, how lovely. Oh, your husband was doing that. Um, I can't think what you called it, but when tear off bits, a bit like Tanya. Lisa and Tanya did. I need to put this paint somewhere. And I tell you what I'll do. I'll just put it on this magazine. Mm. Making painty paper at the same time. I'm loving that. Oh, yeah, of course. Did you notice my mistake? I put it down in the paint. What am I like? <laughs> what am I like? Oh, I quite like the way that shows that. That's fine. A paint. So add words, add paint. You can add your words later. Oh, this is so much fun. And if it if it doesn't look too shabby, this I can I can always um make a copy I can make a PDF from it so you've got blue and yellow there with the words coming through and, um, oh add stars oh how wonderful add stars oh I love that oh not hearts stars oh what fun, what fun. Add stars. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> I'll put that up there to dry. I get, get, my, get my painty paint flow. Let me just make sure. He's the paper craft person. He's working on, oh, decollage where you stick it all on and then you peel it back yeah, you could you craft together that is really nice yes she does yeah um Anne was mentioning nina ribena yes i've got some pdfs from other uh other um master boards I've done so you'll have to let me know if um, you want if you want me to pop some more pdf files in some of the chats and that, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do um, let me see no okay i need to make a template i need to make a template or shall i do a freehand let me see if i do a freehand star oh this is putting me on the spot now isn't it because i used to do the with the children so one i know i've got some crochet stars one two three four five. Oh yeah i like that they're wonky stars, yeah, wonky stars. Like my wonky hearts, I'm going to have wonky stars. Oh, 
you don't have to cut them out of painting paper or something you can use. Oh, he's in the basement. You have your separate bases and that seems to work for you. I like that. Whatever works for you, yes. One, two, three, four, this is five. Lovely. Yeah, one, two, three, four, yeah, yeah. So that will just go on there. Yes, I'm just going to, I'm going to sit here and cut out some stars. I'm going to say I've got my crochet star. Oh, and we would, oh, goodness, Roy, we would, the other thing we were talking about is your crochet flowers um, earlier on. And Ali was watching your video this morning. If you can't do a freehand one, you can draw around something. You're catching up. Oh, I'm Bex. Add words and add paint and add stars, Aunt Bex. If you're not making a mask, you might want to save your words for later. Oh, yes, very freeing. Thought to start with, I had to do it like I used to when I was little, where we used to put two triangles together. But no, every star is different. <laughs> and some, it doesn't matter if they're wonky. I'm loving that. You're getting so comfy, Freddie. <laughs> I know, Roy. No wonder your ears were burning. It's no wonder. One, two, three. There we are. Monkey stars. There we are. Oh, I'll do. A, I'll do a few big ones. Obviously, if one had more time, one could do lots of stars. Oh, like a stencil or a print, a foam star. Depends on what you thought. Making a master board is quite like just making a background for your, for your journal. They're very, my stars are very wonky, but I'm not going to be, I'm not going to judge my stars. Teresa's going to get more coffee. Carol. Oh, Carol, so nice to see you. Oh, bless you. We, we were just wishing you well earlier. So nice to see you. Oh, I'm glad I looked up then. I'm, I'm cutting out stars from painting paper. Oh, gosh. Oh, still a, still a bad tummy. Well, you take your time. Take your time and heal well. God, yeah. Plenty of rests and naps. And I bet you are napping quite a bit. But when you've got a bad tummy, it takes it out of you, doesn't it? Yeah, that one's not going to show up. It's the same colour. Think about these things. Ooh, orange. Mm, there you go, Suze. Orange stars. <laughs> so, next thing. Instead of hearts. Hmm. I quite like this. Um being put on the spot and thinking as we go and playing together. I like it. Obviously no pressure to play along. Oh, look, they're very wonky, but it's fine. <laughs> there you go. That should be enough now. Are you catching up, um, Aunt Bex, dear? Now all the... The lads are ready for work, and here we are. 
One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. That is very wonky. But there we are. Right. Lovely. Oh, I've enjoyed doing that. Put that away. I know I wrote these prompts out, but I'd forgotten what I'd written. Yummy orange, just for you. <laughs> Suze. <laughs> just you. Oh, Carol, yes. Oh, we were all sending our love earlier as well to you. Definitely. I'm glad you were able to, I think you were able to tell us in Fibsville, weren't you? So the words don't show through, but just parts of the background do. It does add quite a lot of interest. And if you do do them, I'd be, I'd be really interested in seeing what you've done, but just see how you feel. You don't have to post what you've done. And if this does turn out too bright, I can I can always knock it back with a bit of white. I might like to go around some of these with a pen and doodle. Because we can do our, these are only a jumping off point. We can do our own thing as well. Oh, I am, I'm having a lot of fun here. <laughs> Cheryl said, you've started a scrappy paper tag yesterday. And oh, how it will turn out using best braille paper. Yes, and that's what Teresa had made an envelope with the braille paper, hadn't you? Oh, yes. I'm sure it will be one. And then all one needs to do is add a focal point and a word or something. I bet it's going to be magnificent, Teresa. Um, Cheryl, dear, that is a very wonky star. Gerland, you have you have to add since we mentioned our husbands. Your Tom loves to listen to Janet when he's up here. He mentioned that last Monday. He loves your English accent, Janet. Oh, oh, oh hi, Tom. Well, I like listening to your lovely wife, Gail Ann, on the replays. I, I can't be up in time to watch Lizzie because it, it's it's too late for me. But um, I watch your lovely wife, Tom, and I mean I listen to your lovely wife. I love it. Your I your your voice, I, yeah. And you you just you just seem to know when to chat and when not to you're brilliant with Lizzie <laughs> yeah that is so true because it's normally midnight so it'll be 11 yes like oh yeah I will join you for an hour because I normally having yeah Having said that when I have streamed it's so funny when I have streamed I don't know why, but I am, oh, I suppose I'm processing a lot, aren't I? And it is me with my head, but I am exhausted. <laughs> but I will. I will try to be there at 11. You're right, Gerlan. <laughs> no, that would be lovely. I'm very nosy. I like to be in the lines and chat with everybody. <laughs> Oh, now, I wonder where our lovely Kimberly is today. Sending you love. And if you're on the replay, welcome, Kimberly. And welcome to one, two, three, four, five. Welcome to everybody else that's on the replay, too. My stars sure are wonky. <laughs> where, did I put, where did I put that glue? Did you, oh, here. <laughs> There we are. I've got some stars on. You might have some mum. You can I wonder if I've got. Ooh, 
Oh, look at me, all organised now. I thought, I wonder if I've got some other types of stars here. I'm just going to put a bit of bling on. There's Diana. Hi. How are you, Diana? Nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. We're just doing a prompt game. I'm just sticking a little bit, a few of these hearts on, it's hearts, hearts on the mind. A few of these stars on here, how lovely. Even though this is a marble board, it doesn't matter, you can still have texture on. It's quite nice to have some texture. Ew, lovely, some silver stars. How lovely. Someone, oh, good, I'm glad you're good, Diana. Welcome, welcome to Monday. Thank you for starting your work week with me. Here's Becky. You've got that family off to work and school now, Becky. I bet it was hard for them to get up this morning because of that hour change, wasn't it? We're doing a prompt game, Becky. A master board or people are doing their own thing. I'm, get, I'm actually getting quite sticky, but that's fine. Nice to see. And how was everybody's weekend as well? Gosh, I, I never remember to say that to you. I'm thinking that you had a good weekend. Did I miss Janice this morning? I, did, I didn't see Janice. Smell nice. Yes, you were all ski, but they're off now. Oh, but you're left with a house that, gosh, all wrecked after the weekend and everybody being at home. I know. I know. You have to do some more tidying and what have you, but it's so nice of you to be here. Oh, Anne, are you enjoying the prompt game today? No pressure. I can always shout them out again. And we can stop doing these bot games and do other things. Just let me know what you want me to do. I'm open for suggestions. So there we are. I've got some writing, some paint, and then add stars. So I'll pop that down there. The next one... Ooh, use metallic colour and it says query gold so you can use gold if you want to. That, oh wow, you do that. I'm loving that idea. Oh, Mary would like, Mary would like um, this one. So we've got, that's number three. One, two. So we've got add words, add paint. You can do these in any order. I'm not going to send the prompt police round. <laughs> Add gold or any other metallic. It doesn't have to be paint. You can, I think I might come in with a bit of gold though. Paint. Wow. Oh, I'm loving this. But you could come in with some, like Erin did, she came in with some gold painty paper that looked like tape. Mary, Mary had thought it was tape, didn't she? Let's, let's get some stencils out. What have we got? Oh, I've got those hearts. I've done that. Um, ooh, I know, I've got a stencil up here. Just put that on there. This was a... Um, Melanie got me this, cut it in half, some for her, some for me. It was in pound shop. It's for putting in your draining board. I'm sure we've all got things like that in our, in our house or in our painting cupboard. So I'm just going to use this. Oh, Aunt Bex, it was use metallic colour. 
And I put query gold on the card because thinking of Mary at the time, how she'd like to add gold. So, no, any anything metallic, metallic thread, wool, magazine, anything metallic colour. I'm choosing gold. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Erin. <laughs> and you know when I saw you using that um, metallic magazine paper that you put the strips on your master board Erin uh, it reminded me to get out my I've got some copper tape and some silver tape I think the copper tape is from a DIY store. I thought, oh, I'd like to get that out and use that again. I haven't used it for a while. So you reminded me to do that. So any form of metallic. I like my metallic pens as well. You might be at that stage. Metallic round those stars would be quite nice. Well, Mm. A little bit more gold. <laughs> gold fixes everything. And I will get Ben to take this master board off to, off to work and create a PDF for me. And I will be able to share it with you. If you would like to. A copy of it. Lovely. I shall just do some gold coming off here. Got some white edges in there. Yeah. Oh, I'm pleased with that. Add gold or metallic. There it is. How lovely. I could go around the edge with a bit of gold. Just, just so I'm not in this. Go. haven't wasted any and I, I just that's just one of those makeup sponges from Poundland and I just ooh, lovely oh look one of my little stars fell off the floor around me again you gel plate plated copper onto an old magazine oh that's what it was copper color gorgeous absolutely gorgeous hmm Oh, good. Yeah, I will. I will. I will, Teresa. If you go into Fibsville, you'll find the PDF for the one with the hearts on. Um, but I will. I will do that for this one too. And then we can just. We just got our own personalised paper pad, haven't we? Then. So the next one is. Oh, how interesting! Add buttons. Now, four buttons. And I am going to do that, actually, because I think that will be a nice texture. Oh, I'm going to get a button tin out, because I think you might enjoy a button tin. Let's get some, where, where a button pot? <laughs> button. Which button tin? That's the question. Which button tin? Here we are. Let's try this one. Ooh, would those go straight on? Like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hmm. Thinking about that. Oh, wow. Wow. Hmm. Would I stick that straight on there? Ooh, I don't know. You thought of it? Just do it. You're going to see me do something I don't normally do. I think it would be nice to age this a little bit or just knock that white back a bit. 
Yeah. Wow. I literally think I'm going to just stick that on. Oh, look. Choose some buttons. Oh, lovely. If it's being scanned, you know, it doesn't matter if there's a little bit of height. Mm. Now, this is a nice sound for you all. Sorting through the buttons in. Oh, welcome back, Roy. Welcome back. Do you think you're going to be able to do your lovely painting today or this week? Um, Deborah, it'd be nice for you. You'd love to do some art, wouldn't you? I'm going to... Well, I haven't got a lot of time. I was going to sew some buttons on, but I think I'm going to have to, oh, I think I'm going to have to use these. Oh, look at that one. It doesn't need ageing or inking because it is vintage. I'm going to stick that on. That's great for a master board, actually, because it's full of prep things. Oh, actually, that's going to look nice. I'll put the tin away. I don't think I've got any more like that. No. Before I knock it over. Am I? Is the audio? Is the audio garbled? Is there something wrong with the audio? Or is it the button tin? Yes. Add buttons, Aunt Bex. Add buttons. You're right there, Freddie. Hey. Is the sound okay, Roy? Or was I just mumbling? Um, literally. Oh, and it's such a such a lovely colour, that button on there. Mm. Once in a while, it goes a bit funny. Oh, dear. I do apologise. I'm not quite sure what to do about that. Oh, wow. I'm literally just going to put these little scripts and scraps down that I've... Add buttons. What's the matter, Freddie, dear? What's the matter, my dear? Oh, wow. That's the nice thing. It, the time pressure has made me oh wow that's a nice lot of texture there i've got a yellow one and the blue the texture i apologize about the sound i could ask i'll listen back and then maybe ben give us some tips oh look more vintage buttons Thank you, Deborah dear. <laughs> and because it's a master board, it's very precious. These are very precious vintage items, but it's lovely. It's a way that we can use them to have paper. We'll just we'll just share them out, shall we? There, I'm going to put three lots of buttons. Because that's what I had in there. Isn't that amazing? Oh, yes, Peggy, of course, because they're vintage. I love that. And this, this is linen. These were just off, cut off uh, a pair of trousers that, you know, linen, it sometimes it just gets all holes in it. But I saved the buttons and some of the material. So that was four effects. That was add buttons. Number five, moving swiftly on, is add more paint. Now, because I'm running a little late now, I am going to add some white. And I'm just going to, hmm, what shape can I use? 
I would love to use this button and see what that does. I can wash it later. It's just some rough. Oh, wow. Now, if I mounted this button, I could actually get some good prints from it. Mount it on foam. Oh, do you know, I'll lift it up in a minute. In some parts, it's actually showing as a button. Now, there is something said to be doing things in a, with a time restraint because one just gets on with it. Oh, thank you. Yes, add more paint. Add more paint. <laughs> And some of those words are, do you know the word that is showing up on here more than anything is joy. I'm not going to cover that up. <laughs> it's our word, isn't it, Freddie? It's our word. Oh, wow. Let me just show you. Can you see how the button has actually in some parts made a print? I'm loving that. <laughs> oh, just so lovely to get messy. Thank you for looking after the paint rag, Mo. And Flo's there too, Flo's there too. Just in, oh look, look at this one. The paint came through the holes and made a texture. I'm loving that. Right, so. And the last prompt, the last prompt, oh, that, hold on. I'm not very good at this, am I, Artex, do you? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I haven't been writing them all down. Yeah, I, I get carried away. Oh, the button's sticking to it. Oh, show the button, I think so. The last prompt is, oh, make a rainbow. Make a rainbow. The last prompt on here is make a rainbow. So you can do that in paint. You can do that in your colours. Oh, that is make a rainbow. Loving that. I quite like the way the button has printed there. Thank you so much, Aunt Bex. Aunt Bex, wonderful. Thank you. I've kept the cards in order. Does anybody need any alternatives? That is our seven. Make a rainbow. And because I am slightly prepping, but... Also, because we've got, I've got some nice texture with the buttons on here. I'm going to, I don't think there's any treats in here, Freddie. I've got three of these rainbows left. So I'm going to add this 1970s style from Cloth, cloth Kits. Isn't that wonderful? I'm going to put that. Are you all right, Freddie? We don't think Freddie has got a time clock. He knows it's time. You have got an amazing time clock. Now, because this this is going to be our our stream, our Monday, hello, darling, our Monday stream paper. I shall get some printed off for next Monday. I don't want to add, I've got Monday there. I'm going to put, where shall I put my rainbow? Put my rainbow. Oh, darling. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're telling me. Gosh, you have got a good body clock, Freddie, dear. I'm going to put my rainbow just there. 
And it's only a background. So I will get this printed out. I might think it needs some looking back. I don't know. It might just make nice paper. It's ours, isn't it? We've got joy written on there, and you can see Monday underneath. I'm loving that. Wonderful. Do you know? <laughs> oh, Erin, thank you. Oh, Melanie, hi. I just had the button tin out, Melanie. You must have heard it. <laughs> I got the button. I've got the bits and bobs jar. Freddie, I know. So um, it's time to pop in a number. Do pop in a number and we'll have a prize draw for um, where are the envelopes? Pop your numbers in. You know the ropes by now. Go. <laughs> oh, 57. Well done. Started off by Aunt Bex. Wonderful, wonderful. So it has to be on or under. <laughs> Gosh, I'm loving printing with those buttons. That's it, lovely. Lovely jubbly. I might come in with some more button prints if you don't mind afterwards, after you've gone. I didn't realise when you printed with them, they still, I think this one here it's got the little holes i think we could mount them up on that um foam fun foam couldn't we buttons that's what woke you up isn't it i know melanie i had the i had one of the many button tins out <laughs> oh dear i know freddie the girls are putting in numbers that's lovely and i'm going to send off one of these fabric fabric envelopes. You're going to add doodles. I'm loving that, Aunt Bex. Yes, yes. I might be, I might be adding some. Yeah, you're right. Accentuating those stars might look good, um, Aunt Bex. You're right, actually, for me as well. Yes, I will. Look at that. Lovely. I'm loving that. Lots of numbers coming in. So, oh, phone. I haven't lost it, Galan. Oh, oh, could we pop in number for Jean Bainey's? Because Jean Bainey is um, listening in the background and not able to look at chat. More like button trunk in this house, a trunk full of buttons. Oh, I know. Oh, look. I'm finding loads of things in here. This is fun. There's another star. Stick that on. <laughs> right. Is that it with the numbers? Let me go to random. If you come in later, don't worry. Um, but I will sort Jean out for something anyway. Gosh. Oh. She's had her eye operation. Do pop to her video. Uh, she's telling you about that. Have you given up on mummy, Freddie? <laughs> he says, come on, it's time to go out, Mum. Right, random. Random number. Random number generator. It's coming, it's coming. 98, Deborah's in, Deborah's in there with nine, 98. If you come in after I press it, don't worry. Shall I wait a little more? Oh, you're celebrating no more meetings. Oh, lovely, Mount Joy. Are you celebrating with a nice cup of tea? <laughs> I bet you are. <laughs> oh. Right, I think that's it with the numbers. Right, so... A number between one and a hundred generate forty nine. So anybody that has a number on or under the nearest under. Peggy says, Mel Joy, you have many button boxes and jars. Love them since I was a child. Me too. And Melanie, when I wasn't very well, my mum used to give me the button jar to sort through and count. 
I used to do the same with the boys as well. Yeah. So, and and the, just the sound of going through them is, is, is wonderful, running one's hands through them. Yes. Peggy, if you haven't heard Melanie and I's story about the button skip, we I must tell you sometime. Ah, oh, who was nearest? Who had the nearest number? It was number 49. Looks like Candy. Candy! Well done, Candy. Candy with 49. And Candy, which one would you like? Would you like the one made from saffia material or would you like the little cotton one that's got a card a time for art one in would you like the cotton one or the silk the silk one candy dear you have a choice <laughs> you have a choice so you choose, tell me which one you would prefer, and I will send that, it will wing its way to America. Candy would like the cotton one. That's for candy then. How wonderful. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Good. So, it's time, oh, Freddie, it's time to say goodbye to everybody, and thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining me here on a Monday, and spending time together and having time to play together and craft together and just while you wake up and while you're in the background resting and healing to the folks in the band it's been it's just been wonderful and to all the lovely people on the replay you're so part of this and we so appreciate that you um, you come along and join us too Oh, thank you. Thank you. You have a blessed week too. And thank you. Thank you, everybody. And we will see, I will see you tonight at Lizzie's. We'll see Gail and Anne and Lizzie tonight. And we will see, oh, I will see you in lots of people's chats. And if, if, if all's well, we will see Teresa. And Beth tomorrow evening. <laughs> Bye. No, oh, thank you. Thank you all for your company. I appreciate it so much. We look forward to our Mondays, don't we? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Oh.